Guys, I am here with Mark, the Sasquatch, with Umarex. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice to meet you, man. It is great to see you, sir. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with the Air Saber? Because I have seen a whole lot of awesome media about it, and yeah. I want to know what's going on. Well, we got some more awesome news on it today. Uh, right off the bat, Ballistic Magazine came and presented us with this. Wow. Uh, the most fun at the range. Uh, so we went to the uh, Athlon Outdoors Rendezvous, and. Uh, Everybody came and shot that, and they were impressed with this. So let's find out why they were impressed with it. Absolutely. All right, Tell me so, what's going on here. Well, we've got a pre, uh, pre-charged pneumatic arrow gun. Okay, so you got your arrow here. Uh, 24 inches, well, 23 inches long. Uh, the wow. Weighs 376 grains. It's leaving the muzzle at about, well, 400 plus feet per second. So you got serious energy with this. It's making... 150 foot-pounds of energy at least on that first shot when it comes out of there. So I've seen some of your videos about this, and it's passing straight through deer. Uh, yeah, and uh, so we, we had Oh <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's that's the answer, guys. We had a, uh, a foam target that we weren't supposed to be shooting this hot into, and uh, we couldn't remove arrows from it. We were, but we just left the arrows in it because there was no getting them out. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. May I? No, oh, absolutely. All of course, right, when we uh, we switched over to the Morel target Ooh. that was made for that, it was more, things worked out a little bit better. Oh, I believe it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So pre-charged pneumatic, it pressurizes to 300, uh, 3,625 psi, 250 bar. In other words, it's going to come with the M-lock rail or sorry, the uh, Picatinny rail on three sides there. So you That's can put a nice. bipod, quiver, whatever you want to put on it. Um, Quick fill port too. Yes. At the end. Yeah. That's so it's, super yeah, it's got a. That's a foster fitting there on the end of the probe, which makes it super convenient to work with your other PCP gear. And now, what's uh, what's the poundage on this trigger? Um, somewhere in the neighborhood of three, four three. pounds. That's not bad. Kind of a two stage, and it's Woo. really clean. It breaks really clean. So, okay, one thing I have a question about the scope. Yes. It's got four different uh, points here. Is that specific yardages? Your mileage is going to vary depending on what broadhead you put on there. Um, and how long you want to shoot. You know, in a hunting situation, you're going to shoot once that day and call it good. So you're sure. going to know on that first shot where your ranges are. So yeah, you can you can set your ranges on that and kind of base it on how many shots, one or two shots, three shots. That is slick, guys. I am, I'm super excited about getting this and uh, trying it out. Also, I, I love the ergonomics on it. I think it's really cool. It's a cool design altogether, plus, the power, if you guys have seen Steve Kreiner, some of his stuff, uh, hunting, um, Rossi Moriel had this out on American Air Gunner. All sorts of really neat stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. This is this is a beast, man. Oh yeah, MSRP on it with the scope, $370. You can hey, get this, dudes. That's exactly what we're about, guys, all right? So, hey, Mark, thank you very You're much, very man. You're very welcome. You guys recognize this? I shot this at Extreme Bench Rest. This gauntlet is completely decked out and absolutely amazing. And I love the carbon fiber tank here. Um, yeah, this thing was a beast. I loved shooting it. Thanks, Umarex. This is an awesome booth. I'm back at the Umarex booth, guys, because I've just noticed some of the really cool stuff. You'll notice this one. This is not uh, the Glock 19. This is, or I'm sorry, this is not the Glock 17 that we just did a video on. This is the Glock 19. And you can see this thing is just exactly replica. I'll try to take it off the wall here. It's not going to budge. But uh, the same thing with the Ruger. Perfect replica of the actual thing. Ben with Airgun Web and I did a video on this uh, last year. It was really fun. And I just love it. The fact that they can make replicas of Colt. Beretta, you can train with these things, you can practice with them the way that you would actually practice with a real firearm without having to go out somewhere else where you can actually shoot without having to worry about the loud sound. 
it's amazing. And as a training setup, I highly recommend getting something that you can train with on a more regular basis. Now, if you can train somewhere, you got a range, and you can get out and you can train all you want, then have at it. But if you can't, this is an excellent way to go. You can practice, you can teach your kids on this before you go to the real thing. Whatever works for you, but I am just so excited that this exists. It's getting rowdy over there, so let's go see what's going on. Is Mark gonna win right now? I think he's gonna win. Yeah, I wanna see it, Mark. Sasquatch is gonna get away with an AR. Yeah, that's right. Mark, thank you very much, man. Good to see you. Tell me what's going on here. Hey, we got a pump now. So this is our ready air, high pressure air pump. This is a pump that goes up to 4,500 PSI. Wow. Uh, this is for the guy who's looking to fill his, his, his air gun. If he's got a small uh, tank to, to carry with him, a pony tank to carry with him, you can fill that with it. Uh, you're looking at about a 10 minute fill for a gauntlet size gun from zero. Wow. Yeah, so That's it's there, there are faster pumps, but one thing we did, we built durability into this. Uh, and ease of use. So it's it's more or less maintenance free design. There's no oil that you need to put into the pump. What? No oil. That's interesting guys. An oilless pump. That's, yeah. <laughs> well, that's very cool. Alright, so no oil. So it's got two uh, fans in there to blow, move the air around the pump. It's got heat fins here to, to disperse the heat. Alright, so in addition to that, it's got circuitry that will allow it to kick off if it gets too hot. So if you're filling it, it's running, it gets too hot, it saves itself, it shuts it down beforehand. And then, because it's programmable, it'll once it cools down, it'll continue pumping back up to the preset range. Very cool, man. Yeah. Now, is this battery powered, or do you hook it up to your car? Or? Yeah, you can do either one. So we got a battery hook up here, 12 volt system, and it's got the AC pump as well, or hook up as well. Wow, very cool, man. All right, what's yeah. the MSRP on this? $500 MSRP. <laughs> wow this this looks solid man sure yeah it's you know it's not lightweight it's about 20 pounds it's built solid um, like I said you're not going to fill bad. up a scuba tank with it but this is this is for the guy who wants to fill up his own gun and keep shooting if you shoot a lot you want to fill up your gun you don't want to invest in that sort of thing or, or be driving to the scuba shop or uh, all the time pumping it up by hand and especially it's the dude I've done yeah and I do it all the time too so uh, it's for that guy. You're looking to move up in the world. This is where it is. That's where it is. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Mark, thank you very much, thank man. Thank you. Guys, I'm, I'm just going to zoom in here. I want you to see what's going on with this digital display. If I can get it. Pre-programmable, you can get everything that you need right there, and it will shut down when it gets too hot. That's impressive. Mmm. Look at that. Just look at it. Would you look at it? Very cool. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Appreciate Thank it. you. That's pretty comfortable. Let's give it a shot. Or two or sixty. We're in buck territory. <laughs> I'm the dollar sportsman. Yes, I'm the dollar sportsman. I'm the dollar sportsman. Having fun out here. I just enjoy all of this. Because after watching these videos, I hope you do. Yeah, buddy.